Hi everybody, my name is Dee. Welcome back to the New Earth community. Now today we're going to be jumping into your energy as well as theirs to see what the message is today. Details to booking myself, guys. Always check out the box. Okay. We have look inside yourself and examine what is causing you to feel this way. This is straight out. Mapping the triggers. Coming out of the fog understanding the situation how you feel about it not running from it you may have gotten communication from your person right or even somebody else is what i'm getting here this is about always in alignment what is it that you want how do you feel about the situation? Now, are you feeling it or are you thinking, because I'm getting so many messages from this one card, and it's never about settling. If you're not getting any movement forward with your person and you've, you've met other people and legitimately how you feel about this other person, doesn't overwrite how you felt about your person and you're settling and then you're just going to that option just because and it's never about doing that if upstairs has moved you on to somebody else that will become your highest frequency so theoretically you would stop feeling the pull towards your person your previous person your ex let's just call it that way Get in where you fit in with the message. This is why the one-on-one, -on -one, mentorship, counselling, understanding what resonates to you because these are collective readings that go out to the collective. Your own experiences and what you've had and what, uh, where you're at with your person, it's, it's, it's your own experience. You need personal guidance. This is why mentorship is here. Now, when we're talking about the triggers, when we're talking about the inner work, all of that is the same format. This is why if you if you have counselling sessions with one person, or um, and then you get counselling sessions from another person, or you have an image reading from one person to another person here in Mission, it doesn't matter because it's the same format per se, right? The image readings read the subconscious, read the individual blocks, what you've got to work through. And you're not going to understand the full image reading. That's the point of it. You're not in union with yourself. It's about identifying the void, the blocks, the things that you don't understand so you can connect the dots. And this is where partnering the services, the individual services, as well as the programs is what's needed. That's what you're getting guided to do. Because it's all about, if you, okay, for those of you that have had communication uh, with your person or even, or even getting in with somebody else, right, an option that's come in for you, uh, what do you truly want? Is your head, is ruling your decision, wounding? If you, if, if you're confused, and you have that that fog per se you're not doing the inner work it's got to come from here and for those of you that have come away from your person if you are open for your person and if you are truly open for your person you are truly open for any other option to come in now, it doesn't mean that you're going to get married to this person next weekend, right? Guys, you've got to come out of this roller coaster of deep emotions of not understanding yourself and what you want because it's never about settling in life and it's not about disrespecting or belittling anybody and that starts off with you, right? Again, for some of you, you're settling for options that because of the simple fact that you're not getting 
that movement ahead with your person. It's never about doing that. Right? It's never about doing that. <sighs> All right. Forgiveness, right? Stop focusing your energy on the past. Yeah, so like, for instance, if you've got this mentality of, well, my person's Asian. I'm never going to date an Asian again. And no offense to all Asian people, guys. I'm just using that as a reference, right? Or, you know, if my person is an Aquarian, right? Aquarius. I'll never date an Aquarius again. All of that mentality. It's about identifying the blockages for what they are how we then segregate ourselves and how the blocks are there so then you're able to identify the belief system and again the wounding that's behind it so the lessons that you needed to have learnt within your past which were surfacing that caused the issues right because you simply didn't know how to deal with the situation because it, it all comes down to inactions, right? The inactions that we take to the actions that we actually take. And both hold a massive factor, right? Forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events. Well, life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. Regardless of what demographic we are, what culture we are, where, when, what part of this world that we come from, we all want love. We have to identify that as we all have feelings. <sighs> yes, there's skewed perceptions to love and there's always reasons to why people do things. And it's up to us to be able to identify that. And once we can understand how we feel, deeply feel on a situation and when we can make healthy determinations of what we needed to do next, this is where your understanding or well, i've got to pull it back no i'm not really feeling this situation because this person is i am settling for this person right and not only are you doing an injustice to yourself but you're doing an injustice to that other person because that other person needs to go find their person right it's it's everything is such a ripple effect okay and again if we get caught up in the hurt from the past, past cycles, exes, whatever it may be, right? We're not open. We're just not open. And we need to take those season upon ourselves to understand that. So then we understand the completion of the inner, because the completion, but it's, it's ongoing, right? The the inner work by all means but then there's there's the understanding of the adult healing component within the healing that we all must do let's jump to let's jump into your overall energy we have the strength card right this is definitely linked to what you see intimacy to be so there could be well and truly an over sex drive here uh a, what's the opposite to that a low sex drive right understanding what it is to tame yourself to to not jump into a situation to understand what it is to nurture a situation and it's going to take time it's going to understand you know if you're quick to anger to say why are you quick to anger? Why are you trying to control a situation? It goes deeper and it's uncovering all of those nitty gritty things to understand that what you're trying to build within your structure, your life, your life partner, regardless of who it may be, right? We all want our person, but this is the thing, right? It, it takes them their life experiences to, to figure it all out. And we've got to understand, we, we got to, we got to work on our own selves to appreciate that growth within us and then understand it's going to take what it takes for them to do it as well. Give me their overall energy, please, for this reading. We have the lovers, right? Options. We also have yeah, major choices, love, soulmates, temptation, being 
put to the test, kindred spirits, right? Perfect union, partnerships, relationships, romance, desire, sexual connections, shared values. You know, when you meet your person, you have that one of a kind connection where you just feel different. You start to understand, you know, why do I feel this way? Why do I can't stop thinking about them? You don't realize it, but you're falling in love, right? Those deep emotions are there. And we all, the more that you can understand your own experience within your adult healing, right? This is all Twin Flame Union program. So if you don't have this program, invest today. Jump on the website. It doesn't matter who you get the, the program from because they're, they're all the same. And, it, and, and tune into the audio where Sophia talks about so, um, the difference between soulmates, karmics and twin flames and the adult healing component and adapt the teachings to that audio the adult healing component to 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 your cycle that you've had with your person so you can identify what you needed to learn and what they need to learn and then understand the 5d channel message of of now understanding it's going to take them time right for that switch over to happen and it's through the fucking choices that we make there's, within my past, I thought that I was in love a plenty of times, but I had skewed perceptions to love and I've had to experience, I've had to experience all of that and I'm appreciative of that to understand exactly what I do and I, what I don't want, right? And that's exactly what your person's going through. So if you get cut and, and guys, I get it, right, about your person being over there, just understand there are lessons that they've got. To learn if your person comes towards you amazing you can deal with it then right moving forth but if they because some of them stay over there right? I, i'm real right some of them stay over there they stay with third party um and then upstairs does eventually move you on they will never keep you stuck right but this is the thing if you stay in a negative about it and you don't work on yourself you can't move. you got to do the inner work to understand that it all comes down to choices. And when we make the wrong choice and we understand that lesson, we then know what we want and what we don't want. And for those of you that think that you're second best, that's inner wounds on you. Because you're not understanding it to the level that upstairs wants you to understand it. Right? Because we are all one nobody wakes up thinking, well, I want this scenario, this scenario, this scenario. No, we all want to be loved, right? But are there skewed perceptions behind each and one of our own scarring? Yes. This is why times of separation and you understanding what you want, right? Tuning into your intuition is so needed. It's so layered. This is why mentorship counseling is here. Right, let's go in deeper to this message. Thank you. Yeah, see the eight of sword, the eight of swords, feeling stuck. Guys, I've been there a plenty where I felt stuck, and it and it, it it's an ongoing process. Once you embed the teachings within these programs, because you you you've done the work, you can almost live and breathe the programs. You're understanding it. And in the programs, I invested within these programs, obviously before I joined Mission, many years ago. And I, I, I bought them before I came into Mission. It was the first thing I've ever done in, 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 in any kind of retrospect to healing work, right? Because I was completely guided and I just decided to trust, 100%, just trust it because... I had never understood something so in-depthly. And for me to be saying this to you, obviously some of you are like this. I then use these programs still to this day. You invest with them once, money-wise, 
But the fact that I've been able to embed these practices within my life, uh, that's priceless, right? You, you, you buy it once, but you, the, what you get out of it is massive. And, cont if, and if, if it's not a continuous for you, that's fine. Continue to go through the programs. Take the weekends. Take the time. Because this is the thing. We can either be resistant, right, because this just popped out to what actions we got to take or we have the courage to understand what, what vulnerability we need to understand within our own lives to so then do the work and understand things for what it is. For some of you, and I got this heavily in one of the readings that um, I posted for the, the channel I created. So if you want to follow me on, on Infinite Light, details are below. Thank you again, Sophia. Um, for some of you, you're identifying that you still have deep emotions for them. You know, if some of them have been at third party for years and uh, do you, do you, if you still get jealous, if you still uh, have all these, these emotions, right, for them which they don't have to be the most positive because they're over at third party. This is the thing. You still have feelings for them. And then there's that hate and judgment on, on the situation. And there's an internal war happening from inside of you. You need help with this. Book mentorship. You know, and you're angry. And uh, you've got to stop. You guys have to learn what it is to stop doing this to yourselves through what the heart wants to what the head is telling you. And guys, I get it. I get it. All right. And this is why the community is here to, to assist and guide your overall energy towards the connection. We have the seven of pentacles. How you are viewing them. We have the five of swords. So I feel as if there's a lot of judgment here towards your person for this reading. How they are... Uh, they connect their energy towards the connection. We have the two of pentacles. How they are viewing you, the, the ten of wands, right? Mutual energy, we have the eight of pentacles. What's blocking? The seven of cups, right? Third party situations. Okay. And what's in the potential outcome? We have the nine of wands. Right, so this is either your wounded warrior to the whole situation, or your understanding to have the courage to continue on this this venture, right, with them. You know, you can either see it as that ongoing battle where you're feeling really fatigued because of the simple fact that your energy is so drained. Or you're understanding what it is to learn from the past, right? The past failure, per se, right? Gather your strength, you know, go in it for one last go. So your energy towards the connection, we have the seven of pentacles. I feel as if there's been this, 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 non-movement energy here for some of you that have put, for the for, for those of you that have pulled away you know it, it, well and truly could be taking longer than what you think some of you's pulled away you've been pulled away for a couple of years but you're still listening to tarot right i'm just going to put that one out there i'm not here to trigger you or piss you off intentionally but if it happens be thankful for it because there's something with in you that's still trying to fight for it i don't know how else to say it and then there's that non-alignment from what the heart wants so what the head's telling you guys and i understand it but stop with the inner war to how you feel because this is what has you in this procrastination on 
the situation. You know, it's like you almost want to have this, this harvest time to come in without actually doing the required effort of it's going to take time putting the work in here here with eight of uh, pentacles in mutual energy because either you're you're understanding okay i was fully invested right and now i've had to pull away so yes i'm invested to the point where i do want them to come back but if they don't I've got to understand what it is to, to continue to keep my life going, right? Within a healthy state of mind, within a healthy state of emotional well-being, because you understanding that it's going to take work. It's going to take work from the both of you because this is mutual energy. So it's understanding, okay, well, theoretically, you got one foot in, one foot out. Because if it doesn't happen, I'm going to face it. Right, And that's for those of you that are facing the fear, the abandonment. You're going in, you're doing the work, right? For others of you, get in where you're fitting. When you know exactly where you are at, you're waiting for them to come in with, let's date fully, let's tell everybody. Uh, well, you got to understand it's going to take building the bond trusting one another and that's just going to take time i don't know how else to say it because for some of us here with your energy towards them you feel as if they've surrendered this connection you know they're walking their own way for some of you you feel as if they've per se, sacrifice their own selves to whatever third-party situation that they have to be in and amongst, right? What, for some of you, like the shadow into this, and this is about coming out of this energy, the way you are seeing them, because it's skewed mentalities of you don't know what's going down with them, right? Like, yeah. You, there's judgment here for some of you, 100%. You know, you feel as if your person may be an opportunist. They have to win at all costs. Um, for some of you, you know, you feel as if your person, you know, self sabotage situations because of their lack of that. And then I'm just going to leave it blank because you know exactly how you're judging them if that's what you're doing. You know, the, for others of you, it's understanding the situation on a deeper level, right? So though they may have been quite cut off with you through their lack of communication, um, if you are feeling any what any somewhat of being victimized by this, there's work to do and definitely book mentorship and counseling here, right? Because those mind frames have to go. Now, their energy towards you, they're half in, half out. I don't know how else to say it with the Two of Pentacles. This is them um, needing to create balance where they've been juggling, right? There's There's been ups and there's been downs here. Um, juggling life, right? Juggling even money situation because this is, this is Pentacles. Uh... I feel as if they are at a bit of a standstill here, right? And they well and truly could be working very, very long hours here. Because on their side, this is all pentacles. That actually makes the two, the eight of pentacles to the two of pentacles makes the ten of pentacles. Them focusing on third party situations and what they've got to build. Now, if they've got children by exes or whatever it may be i'm not feeling like they're building a future with third party situation if that's the case it's different for everybody because third party situations are everything right 
But I don't feel as if they're building a solid foundation of a relationship with somebody. If anything, they've just got to deal with that baby mom, baby dad, but they're not dealing with it properly. And they're focusing on what they've got to build to be a success. Right, what this 3D or what their perspective of success is. And what's blocking is all the illusions. Right? Multiple um, possibilities, choices, lots of options, opportunities, picking and choosing, decisions, procrastination, dreaming, fantasy. So that you want to truly could be dreaming of one another, is what I'm getting here. Also, I'm picking up a lot of wishful thinking. Um, daydreaming, but not doing anything because there's no wands. The only wands that are here, I don't know how else to say it, are the wrong kind. How they see you uh, being overburdened, over overloaded, right? A lot of responsibility, stress, problems, weight on your shoulders, duty, duties, um, being restricted. I feel as if when it comes to what they've offered you and how they've showed up within the connection, it's been one-sided. They haven't made it easier for you. Within this connection, I don't know how else to say it, which then brings on this, this energy. Guys, like I was saying, sorry I got interrupted. Um, the only movement, oh, there isn't any movement that I see here coming in. The only thing that you can do is understand what you want to invest in. It's, it's becoming and, and, and creating that balance with inside of you. So well, you're not looking at love or tiresome, right? It's, it's understanding what this reflection time is all about. So you can understand exactly what you want to what you don't want. Let's get messages from them. For those of you that are working within yourself, when you are at a balanced state and you're understanding everything to what you want, to what you don't want, this is where you open up your heart and this is when a new beginning is able to come in, regardless of who it is. See, look, I need to love me first and I can love you. This is massive. So even if you want your person to come back, you got to understand what it is to do the healing work to be able to open yourself back up. And for some of you that you don't even want to entertain the thought of other people, and guys, I remember I used to be there, and you don't see yourself doing that. But again, it's free will, right? Um, I focus on money as I have nothing else to offer you. There is deep. Your person works a hell of a lot. Like deep, deep, deep rooted belief systems there. You are the first person that has shown me what real love feels like. I fear you will reject the real me. And we have, please don't give up on me. Details to booking myself, guys. Always check out the box. Take care and I'll see you soon.